Hey everybody, today we are going to be looking at a Dell Tower. I uh, recently ran a little poll to see what you guys wanted to see next, and Dell Tower was tied for what you guys wanted. So, today's Dell Tower is a Dimension 9200. It's got a DVD rewriter, floppy, audio in the front, and USB. This one has a Core 2 Duo and was built for XP Professional. I have not cleaned it. I know a lot of you have been a little up in arms about cleaning it. Uh, before I boot it, um, I don't know if this one has a hard drive. I haven't opened it at all. So, interestingly enough, on board, we've just got sound, USB, and networking. We actually have our mouse as part of our display adapter. Maybe maybe that's a uh, maybe that's an S video actually. <laughs> um, very unusual design here. So, uh, not built with PS2 connectors. So it's a fairly modern system but let's uh let's open it up and see what we've got going on all right so this is probably the dustiest dell i've ever opened up uh it's got the massive dell heat sink we've got an nvidia i'm guessing this is a dell proprietary card of some kind uh as these usually are this one's built like a media center i see here looks like we got some damage on this board uh i'm not sure what that was, but it's fairly crushed, so I don't know if that's going to have any bearing on whether or not the system will boot. We'll have to find out. We've got two open RAM bays. Um, looks like we do have a hard drive in here, so potentially this system may be bootable. Let's go ahead and uh, open up this heatsink and take a look at the processor. All right, so we got this dusty heatsink off. I did like the uh, ribbon cable organizer on the top. That was kind of neat. Uh, and got the socket open here. And we've got an Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.13 gigahertz. Okay, so nice little, nice little Intel chip. Socket looks good, but wow, look at the cake of dust in here. I do think this one at, ne at least is going to need a blowout <laughs> before we try and boot it. Um, I, I promise you all I will be cleaning these systems up more thoroughly for the ones I keep. Uh, but some of these systems, you know, are just going to end up going back to the boneyard. I don't need to keep every single Dell I find. But uh, with that, I uh, appreciate you all uh, taking a look with me again. Uh, we'll be doing more fun content this week. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button, that like button, share with your friends, share with people you know, and I will catch you next time.